In today's video, I built a mega colorful smoothie shop in Bloxburg, and it was so cute and very fruity, I guess. <laughs> Hey Glossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. Today we are back in Los Angeles for my third video of the series. And in today's Los Angeles episode, we're actually going to be building a smoothie shop, which explains why I look like a fruit, which I am so looking forward to. I have some really fun ideas for this build. But before we go over the plan for today's build, it's time to announce which one of you guys is going to be added to a star on Glossywood Boulevard today. So today I've chosen to add Mare Bear 633 because she made some super cute fan Art. she's made multiple i think actually and they're absolutely adorable so i think she deserves her very own star here as well as my three staff leaders askily eva blocks and ava Faye xii because they help me out so much with events and my discord server and coming up with ideas so i think they deserve it and i did promise them i'd add them on here as always you can get picked for your name on a star by doing something nice like fan art or an edit or a really nice comment but at the moment i am mainly picking fan art just because i know you guys put a lot of effort into your art and i think it should be recognized more on the channel so yeah, lots of love to my artist closets out there. I love all of my fan art so much. Anyways, let's get on to today's build plan. So today, like I mentioned, we're building a smoothie shop and the inspo for this is kind of just like mega bright and fun smoothie shops. I want to add like fruit on the walls and just kind of make it really vibrant and pink of course. But now it's time for the floor plan. So today we will be building in this tiny space here. It's pretty small. The plan is to have like the counter in the kitchen area here, some little tables here and some outdoor seating as well. And then maybe like a menu on this wall maybe it's gonna be pretty basic because we don't have a lot of space to build in and that is pretty much it so without further ado let's get on to building oh my gosh i'm so excited for this one i'm so excited to do like fruit themes i've never built like fruit kind of themed things before in Bloxburg. right we're gonna i don't know what to do first okay um let's start off with the windows and the doors what i kind of want to do is use these windows just because they're like my favorite of all time and i think we should make this quite cute I don't want to have like one big window. I want it to kind of be like a cute little building, especially because the building that's going to be above this one is going to be very kind of cutesy and kind of elegant, I guess. So I want the one below it to fit quite well. So we're going to have those windows like that. Should we do them going around the corner maybe? Let's put one on this kind of corner bit here. Let me just make sure this lines up properly. There we go. Let's use this door like that. And then we're going to do two more windows around the side. Let me put a floor in here quickly i'm just trying to get all like the basics done so we can start like the fun stuff this is going to be the counter and i really want to have like really cool wall decorations as we said earlier right let's put the counter down actually i think we're just going to use the basic one and then kind of add on to it i guess wait no i've got an idea okay so what we could do oh i'm trying to think of how to do a counter i was gonna say we could use one of these and make it kind of like a bar so people can sit on it. Maybe it's just, I don't know how to do the space in here. So maybe on this bit, people can sit there and then we could kind of do this one. Oh. Uh oh oh and then we could use these like plain ones for the rest of it to kind of like swoop around here we could have this kind of round like this this is kind of like the order area and then this can be where you actually get the drinks handed to you you know kind of like a starbucks or a costa if you're english like me when you kind of like go down the counter and it's like you order it here and then they give it to you here so we could have it like that and then this can just be like a seating area and then we can have counters down here which has all like the kind of things they actually make it on i feel like that's a really small space space though so maybe we'll just keep it to this section we could do it back a bit into this room this thing here is going to be like a kind of information desk where you go in and they give you information about the city and this is going to be a staircase into a different building up here so we kind of can go into this space a bit more so i'm going to remove that wall and then we can have all the smoothie making stuff back here okay yeah i've took the wall back and then added counters around here and this gives us a lot more space to do stuff the counter area is kind of bigger than the seating area but obviously it's not really meant to be like a cafe you can just take your drink and go we just want to have a few seats so that's kind of okay oh i need to extend the floor actually for the floor i think we're gonna have it like this i want this to be very light um so that looks cute and then for the walls because we're gonna do like fruit kind of on the walls and make it really colorful i think we're just gonna do a light pink for the base and then we're gonna add to it and then for the counters maybe like a light wood like this kind of color then we can have like a pink base like this and i think that looks really cute we're gonna add decoration to the cafe 
cabinet. It won't be this plain, don't worry. But I think the colors are pretty cute. We've pretty much got the base done. That was pretty quick. I'm proud of myself for that. What I want to do now is I want to do the fruit decoration. So what I kind of want is like a blender on the wall and then loads of fruit spilling out of it that just goes like all the way around. But we do need other things on the wall, like a menu and stuff. So I'm going to put that in now and we can kind of work around it. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to come up with the drink names as well. We could have like all glossy themed drink names. Kind of like, you know, in the cat cafe when we did cat themed kind of menu items. Oh my gosh, the cat cafe was so fun. I do actually have kind of another cat themed build that I want to do, but I think that I'll be after Los Angeles because it's going to be quite a big build. Anyways, let's have, oh no, I feel like that's not in the middle at all. Let's put that there. Maybe make this a bit bigger and this can be our menu board. So that's where the menu stuff can be. And obviously you order right here. So it's kind of convenient for it to be right there. And then I want the blender coming out of this wall and this wall just to be full of fruit and then them kind of dotted around like we said. I also want to have some kind of wiggly light LEDs on the wall and it's going to look cute. Anyways, I'm going to put a screenshot on screen of like a blender doodle sketch thing. This is what we're going for basically. So I'm going to try and make a blender on the wall. So this is kind of like the transparent bit. We're going to try and add a little handle with the semi-transparent beams. Let me color those the same. Just like this. Okay, that looks pretty cute. And then we need like the base of it. So I'm basically just going to get another basic shape and then make this really thin like this. I don't know if I said it earlier, but the fruits I kind of want to include is like oranges, lemons, limes, strawberries, raspberries, kind of ones that are more pink, orange, and yellow, because I feel like that's a really good color scheme. And obviously my color scheme is mainly pink, so I do kind of want to stick to that. I'm also going to add on, you know, the little kind of measuring lines along the side of the blender like this. Oh, and then the final thing we need is we need the lid. The lid can be like kind of flying off it here. Um, Where should we put it kind of like here oh okay that looks cute and then i want to add a little bit on the top as well kind of like a little handle there we go oh my gosh how cool is that it also sticks out a bit but i'm pretty sure we can cover that with a pillar so we're not going to worry about that too much but here is the blender now we're going to try the fruit i don't know how i'm going to do the fruit designs so i'm going to go and brainstorm some fruit design ideas out of basic shapes for a few minutes and then i'll be back when i have an idea of like how we can actually make this guys guys look at my fruit okay so all the fruit that's on the ground oh all the fruit that's on the ground here is what we're gonna use and when i tell you this was difficult it was so like difficult to make these especially because right i'm normally really good at building with like structurals and basic shapes to make really little shapes like this but on a plot like los angeles when every single building is probably gonna take up lots of detail i've got to be careful with how much detail i actually do because if we hit the plot limit before i finish building this then i will cry so i have to try and be kind of minimalistic with it but this is what we have wait let me talk about this one first so this was like one of my attempts at an orange like slice and it was so difficult like these are the ones we're going to use just because they're easier and this is basically like the little slices is just another cylinder and then i've placed lines to make it look like little slice things inside of it but it's so difficult to get that shape so this was the closest i got but because these are like valentine's pillows they don't copy and paste with it and it just doesn't fit everything else so that was my first attempt we're going to get rid of this and these are the ones we're actually going to use so we have cherries we have lemon, we have orange, we have a strawberry, we have like a banana slice, we have a pineapple ring, and some of them you can see have like things underneath, but what we're gonna do is basically like lower this onto the wall so you can't see it. So now it looks like a pineapple ring, as you can see there. We have a blueberry, we have a raspberry, and can we just talk about how expensive this raspberry is for a second? Like, excuse me. And then we have a watermelon, which once again, we'll like lower it into the floor so you can't see the base of it. But these are all my fruits, and this is what we're gonna decorate with. Oh yeah, and I also did this area, so this was basically just to see what the wall would be covered with so i didn't want to kind of place the fruit down and then we get to the bit where we're placing fridges and it suddenly covers up the work we've done so i just needed to see what we're actually going to have here so i've got a fridge a sink we have the blenders to make the smoothies and we have this and this is going to be like shelves of fruits i thought it'd be cute and that's basically it oh and i added these cubes just to have some light in here so we could build the roof on but that's where we're up to i love the fruit so much i think it looks so cute i don't know which one my favorite is i kind of like the pineapple ring or like the raspberry we're gonna get started on putting these on the actual walls just everywhere and i think what we'll also do is just have random splashes of the smoothie kind of continuing as well just to keep the whole smoothie bean splashed everywhere vibe so i'm just gonna do some dots of the smoothie the wiggly led lights we're gonna do those as well but we're gonna do those after the um fruits all on the wall and i also think a little led sign somewhere up here would be super cute as well maybe like above the blenders saying like 
blend i don't know i feel like that's not very aesthetic maybe like mm, like just letter m's oh my gosh okay so hang on we're gonna talk about the neon signs while i start putting fruit on the wall so as you guys know i absolutely love my blocksburg neon signs for the past like two years or something i have had them in like nearly every build i do i do them all the time i have them in my houses like i'm just you know the neon sign girl at this rate but how i make mine is i basically just draw on the wall with the neon lights i don't do anything fancy it's just basically that because i'm just drawing with these they obviously don't look mega accurate i guess but they still look cute you get what i mean on twitter i saw someone come up with this genius idea on how to make neon signs and i have to share it with you because it is absolutely incredible and i think we're gonna test it out today so this person i can't remember the name i'm so sorry but i'll put it on screen now they, they came up with this idea so instead of using the neon light what you do is you make a decal of like the shape you want the neon sign to be in and you make it transparent so just that bit of the decal is transparent if that makes sense i will explain it properly when we actually try this out later but yeah you basically make a transparent decal where the writing is transparent so you can see through it and then you get one of these cube things here and you make it like the color you want the neon sign to be and you put the decal on top of it and it makes like an exact neon sign like it is so clever so yeah there is now two ways that i know of to make neon signs and i feel like we should probably do a really cool looking smoothie one and put it outside as like the logo i think it'd be fun to try out their hack so we're gonna do both my usual method and their one today because oh my gosh it is genius but yeah we're gonna go around now and just add all the fruit on the wall this is what we have so far and i feel like it looks so fun like i love this build so much i really don't like the watermelon though i kind of don't want to use it anyways yeah i'm gonna finish the fruit and i will time lapse it for you guys Mwah. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Okay, so the lighting's kind of a bit bad because obviously we don't have proper lights in yet, but how cute do the walls look so far? I was gonna put a neon sign here, but I didn't actually like it, so we're gonna leave it, but I do think we need some sort of sign above the actual counter. So what I think we're gonna do is make like a thing hanging around the top. Um, It's gonna be hard to explain, so I'm just gonna show you, but I'm so kind of happy with how the walls have turned out so far. I absolutely love the fruit so much. I kind of wish I did more different fruits but i did the best i could okay oh there's some strawberry seeds sticking out the wall so yeah we're basically gonna make something kind of going like this if that makes sense just like around the top bit just feel like this will kind of look cute and then we could have like a sign along the top of it maybe some more fruit you know just kind of make the kitchen a bit more closed off so in terms of like the drinks we're gonna sell i was actually you know the ones that pizza planet sells in those like red cups i'll put a photo on screen i wanted to use those because i thought you know those are the only kind of cups with like a straw in i guess and they look like you know something you'd buy a smoothie in so i was like oh my gosh they would be perfect but you can't recolor them so they're all stuck red so we can't use those so we're gonna have to use like actual smoothie cups but i want to try and make some for kind of just display that don't actually work that look like the ones you would get from like a smoothie place or like starbucks you know like the see-through plastic cup kind of thing see this thing makes the whole kind of kitchen feel a lot more cozy and closed off i think this was a great idea let me just color this the color of the bottom counter and then maybe we can add like a little boundary along it just so it doesn't look so kind of blocky i guess there we go there's the one boundary actually should we do it on the other side as well make the inside look cute but this looks so cute so far and it's also like one of my most colorful builds i feel like my color scheme is pink and then i'll add different colors in sometimes if i need to for example the valentine's cafe that was pink and red because red is a massive valentine's color and for this we've got all sorts we've got red we've got green we've got yellow orange blue 
Like we've got everything. We've ne we never normally have this much color. Don't get used to it, guys. What I'm thinking is we hang a sign up here. I don't know why. I just really want a sign up here. So we're gonna try and, oh, what should we call it? Oh my gosh, we need to think of like a glossy related smoothie name. I have no idea. We could call it something like gloss fuel because smoothies are obviously kind of like fuel for your body. You know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna let my Discord server decide. Once again, if you haven't joined my Discord server, there is a link in the description. I feel like I say that every video now. But you guys help me make most of my business decisions at this point. So let's just type them out a little message here. Glossettes, I need your help. Hang on, we're gonna add some fruit emojis. It's gonna take a while for people to write their ideas down. So whilst we wait for you guys to think of some names, I'm gonna do some bits off camera to the counter quickly just to kind of make it consistent because obviously we've got like two different types of counter and it doesn't fit very well. So I'm just gonna basically make it blend together a bit better and we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so it's actually the next day now, but we do have the name of the smoothie shop. We came up with the name together. We were sat there brainstorming like smoothie name ideas for like 20 minutes. Once we had like a group of names, I picked my favorite seven and then I let you guys vote on your favorite and the one that got the most votes was Gloopy Juice. So that is the name of the smoothie place. You may be wondering why, why Gloopy Juice? Why does that have any connection to Glossy at all? And surprisingly it does. So if you watch my staff build off video I posted a few weeks ago, you'll know that one of my staff's nickname for me is Gloopy for some strange reason. So we decided to use that as Gloopy Juice because it just sounds, it sounds cute. It, it sounds like a smoothie place. I've also finished the counter area. I think it looks really cute and I actually put some like detail on the inside of the counters like here and I finished the fruit shelf. So these look super cute as well. So now pretty much all we need to do is like the seating area, the outside, finish the counter, stuff like that. So let's start with the counter area. So I'm going to quickly place down like a cash register. I feel like I'm going to use so many of these in the city, but we need an area for you to like order and pay. So that can be like down here near the menu. Let me paint this a little bit of pink. I think it would also be cool to have like a tip jar and stuff. And then I kind of need to think of a way to like divide this. What I'm thinking is we kind of build like a transparent barrier thing and we're going to stick it like along here. I'm thinking this can be where you pay and then here we can have some like little cakes or something for sale. And then here along here, this is going to have like where the plastic cups and the straws are to actually like package the drink. And then this is where you pick it up if you're a customer. It does very much remind me of like Starbucks layout. I want to make a tip jar, but I'm not too sure how, but I do know you can get like clear jars out of the jam baker thing. I just haven't figured out how to get like empty ones yet. I'm going to put like a cake stand here and we can put like muffins on it or something. Let me just get rid of all the fruit. We don't really need this anymore. And if we do need more, I'm just going to like copy and paste it off the walls. Oh, okay. We need to do the cup thing. This is going to be difficult. So what I'm thinking is if we get these like cup glass things we can try and tip them upside down so they're like in a stack this is going to be pretty difficult what i'm going to do for this is just put them on like a tiny transparent cube we can use to transform it upside down on so like this we're just going to tip them upside down and then try and put like a stack of cups on top of each other it's so hard to see if it's like on top or not. It's gonna take a while, but I think that'll work. And then we also should try and think of like how to make lids. Can you get, oh, you can get like clear cylinders. Okay, we're gonna use these. So we can have stacks of cups and then we can have stacks of the lids as well. And then we can have like a bunch of straws or something. The lids are kind of a bit chunky, but we're gonna stack these up. I'm trying to make it look kind of wonky. Maybe we can have two. So there's all the lids. And then what I think we should do is have like a cup of straws. If we use this mug, we can put the handle the other way and it kind of just looks like a cup. And then for the straws, I'm just gonna use this like small round rod thing and place them down and they look like straws and we could just like transform them into the cup. We have to make them pink of course. Now I'm just gonna move them to look like they're all sat in the cup. So here's all the stuff done. Oh wait, no, we need to finish the cups, hang on. There we go, we have our little drinks packaging area and this looks so adorable. This area is looking pretty snazzy and I think it's time we work on these fruit shelves. So what I'm gonna do is add like something along the bottom just so it's kind of like the edge of the shelf and the fruit doesn't hypothetically roll off. We have so much fruit in the game now. I feel like there's loads to choose from. We have strawberry plants. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, let's look at the fruit. We have berries, we have, where's the strawberry plant? We've got strawberries here. Let's just take a look at what we've got for a minute. We only have three shelves so we're gonna have to pick like three fruit can you get strawberries out of the fridge i don't think you can but we have apples we have grapes and bananas 
we have pears oranges um is that it let me have a look i think that's it yeah that's it oh my gosh wait look look at this pineapple drink oh my gosh i completely forgot they added this this is so adorable this fits the theme so well we have to sell these but what i want to do is harvest the plants and see how many strawberries we actually get oh <gasps> you can oh my gosh wait can we place these down oh my gosh we are gonna need to harvest so many strawberry plants you only get one same with the berries that is gonna take so long so what i think we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the build and then i'm gonna do the fruit because the fruit is gonna take a ridiculously long time we'll worry about the fruit shelves later let's work on this kitchen bit instead what i'm gonna do is just sneakily hide this light in the counter so you can't see it and then we just need to quickly paint these blenders these are not looking very glossy there we go they look so cute i put them on like a little mat as well and then we need some stuff next to the sink so i'm just gonna grab like a basic soap dispenser thing can you change the texture of the soap bars no you can't okay i was gonna make them into a mini sponge but never mind if you want to bake a sponge all you have to do really is get like a cube basic shape and make it pretty small and then you can like color the texture to look like sponge oh oh my gosh this is like the perfect texture for sponges the small flower texture is so good look at this this is looking cute i don't want to add like loads of clutter so i think this area is okay we just have like the sink area and then the blenders but what i am gonna add is like a little bowl next to the blenders and then we'll fill it with fruit so it looks like they're kind of in the process of making a smoothie and putting the fruit in the blender and then this section over here is obviously just a little seating area so what we need to do is we need to add some chairs and i'm gonna use these little stools because they're so adorable but i think we're gonna customize the top so they look kind of more round so what you want to do for this is just grab a cylinder basic shape and then color it the same color as the top of the chair and kind of resize it a bit and then with the transform tool we can just add it like on top of the stool and you can still use these because like the bottom of the stool is still showing it just makes them look cuter see look how cute these look let's add some decoration i like the table bit of this area we can have some napkins maybe we should have like some flowers let me place down a vase and then i'm gonna make like a giant bouquet here we go oh my gosh this looks so cute let me just color this a bit if you want to know how i make my flower vases look like this big then i do actually have a tutorial on that so i will link that down below for anyone who's interested let me add the napkins here what else could we add oh my gosh the flower pillows would actually be really cute in here we can add this if we make it smaller we'll add this as like a little decoration that is so adorable so that's the little seating area done and we need to do the actual tables now i wanted to do kind of like high tables and high chairs but we can't really make those so we're just going to do normal height i'm just going to steal these stools and we can have a table here we can have one over here if i move these along i think we could fit like another table along here as well okay yeah that's perfect now we just need to make the tables we are going to make custom tables and these are going to kind of be like round so I'm just going to place a cylinder down here for the base of the table. And then we need one for like the beam in the middle like this. And then we need the top of the table. So we're just going to add this in. We need to test if these actually work. Hang on. Let me see if these are okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, these are actually perfect. Oh my gosh. These are adorable. I'm going to add some heart rugs under each table as well. Just as some extra decoration. And then I'm also going to add the vases on each as well. I'm just hoping that the giant bouquet doesn't take up most of the table space. Here's the first one done. That looks super cute. And there is all the bouquets done. Oh my gosh. The flowers like fits so well i feel like they add more color to the tables to match the walls we're gonna leave the inside for now because it's nearly done and we're actually gonna start on the outside because this is not looking too cute what i want to do is i want to have like you know the big canopy striped things that they have over the top of like cute little shops we're gonna make one of those out of basic shapes because we want some like outdoor seating as well so using basic shapes i'm basically just gonna add like stripes like this and i'm just gonna copy and paste this and place them along until we kind of cover the whole wall we got to make these cute and pink of course hang on we need pillars to hold these up let me place these here we will resize them so they won't be poking through the top i want to add like some sort of sign above the door as well um we may have a slight problem that problem being that the last time i filmed i have lost the footage for so the last few bits of the cafe i don't actually have like on record what i did but it doesn't matter i'm gonna show you guys where i'm up to because we're pretty much finished now so as you can see how cute does this look oh my gosh i finished the tables outside to match the inside and i also added some fruit on the little canopy thing and some of the leds kind of going around like that and i also added a bunch of fruit near the windows which i think looks super cute and i also decorated the door area and i know what you guys are looking at this beautiful sign up here so i used that person's hack we were on about earlier and how cool does this look we have a gloopy juice sign oh my gosh it's adorable and then we also have like a mini menu thing to go there and if we go inside i added some more fruit along these so i didn't do loads so yeah we're pretty much done which is exciting but of course 
course, what we need to do is we need to fill in the decals. So we're gonna go do that now. For the decals, of course, we needed a menu and I made this menu. I made like a bunch of different smoothie names on it, just completely random and glossy related. So there's like the glossettes and the gloss boss and stuff like that. And then I also made a little like pick up your order here sign because there is a little sign I placed down pointing to like the pickup area. And I also made this like advertisement poster as well to go on this board out here. So we only needed three decals because the menu is actually gonna go in this one as well. And there's only four decals to fill in in this place. So we're gonna go do that now. Oh, also after we've done the decals, of course we need to do like all the fruit and the food. So we aren't completely done yet. Anyways, first up is this little kind of pick up your order sign. So we're gonna place that there. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So it just directs people over here. I might make it pink actually. And then for the menu, let's see how this fits. We have the menu here. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. We might need to slightly move that neon, but for the most part, it fits pretty well. Oh, oh there we go, it's back. Let me just place it in this little frame. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. And then, of course, the advertisement board. Let's pop this decal in. How does this look? Oh, that's adorable. And now it's time for the fruit. This is going to take a ridiculously long time, and I am not looking forward to this at all. But I'm basically going to have to pick loads of berries and strawberries. So we're just going to place down a bunch of these strawberry plants. You know what? We're going to make them pink. We're going to have pink berries. We're just going to have to go back and forwards and harvest loads of fruit. And to save you guys watching this very painful experience, I'm going to time lapse it. So the fruit is done, but I am going onto my food stock plot quickly just to get some heart cookies to go on the cake stand. So I thought I'd give you guys a little look at my food stock plot and oh my gosh, yeah, I, I think I have a Bloxburg hoarding problem at this point. We have all my Valentine's food, we have all my Halloween and Christmas food, and then we have these where I'm basically stocking up on usual food just so I don't have to cook it, but I have taken away loads of it because I was using it. And this bit's kind of crazy, but yeah, basically this is where I stock all my seasonal items mostly, and I am just gonna grab where are they okay here they are i'm just gonna grab a plate of heart cookies and we're gonna put them in the fridge and then we're gonna put them into the smoothie thing so yeah this is what my food stock plot looks like we're back in los angeles now we can go get the cookies out of the fridge how cute is this looking oh my gosh let me show you guys the fruit here we go how cool is this i'm so proud of it anyways let's grab the heart cookies and then we can place them on here there we go that is so cute oh my gosh so I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that we are officially done. So it's now time for the grand tour. So here we have Gloopy Juice, the smoothie shop. And can we just talk about the lighting right now? Like this looks so cute. So anyways, we have a little advertisement sign down there and then we have our outdoor seating area. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab a smoothie for this. Anyways, we have our lovely outdoor seating area under this very cute canopy. You can sit here, you can sip your drink, you can look at the glossy wood sign up there. Very nice view and we have our fruit decorated wall and we have our entrance. So we have a menu here in case you want to read before you go in as well as our really cute neon sign and you guessed it, some more fruit and we're gonna go in here and we have a fruit explosion in here. We have our blender with everything coming out on the walls. We have our menu. This is where you'll sit in like order. We have 
have some hot cookies on display and then you'll pick your drink up here of course and we have another gloopy juice sign some more super cute tables we have a little table area here that we can sit and chill out and drink our smoothie and more fruit fruit just everywhere and then if we go behind the counter we have our like till area we have the area where you package the drink we have a fridge a sink we have the blenders and we have our little like shelves for the fruit oh my gosh this is so adorable i absolutely love this build and this has been a super fun one to do especially this wall this wall is like by far my absolute favorite and I think it's super cute and I just can't wait to do the next ones in Los Angeles after this. But yeah, that is my smoothie shop in Bloxburg. The lighting's really cute here. We're going to stand here for the outro. And that is it for today's video, I'm afraid. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want to be more involved in videos, for example, choosing the name of buildings, then once again, join my Discord server, as well as, you know, follow the rest of my socials. They'll be linked down below. But I love you all so, so much, Glossettes. Thank you you so much for watching especially if you made it to this part because this video was pretty long and i'll see you all next time have an amazing day or night xoxo glossy girl